All right, everybody. I'm trying with this camera, but it's all like I'm gonna snap this thing off the damn tripod. What's up, everybody? Just wanna try. I know the lighting's probably crap. I've been messing with this for a little while now, and I can't seem to get it to work quite right because this window here is fucking with me. So I've been trying to kind of stick with it, and it looks all orange and crappy, and it's no good. But whatever. That's always my battle in this damn room is the lighting just sucks. So, for doing bids in particular. For me, it's not necessarily that bad. This room looks fine. It doesn't look too yellow or orange, but here, <laughs> on video, forget about it, man. Uh, so this is just going to be a video of me bitching about stuff. I'm just going to bitch for a long time, so if you don't want to hear me just complain about stuff, don't watch this video. <laughs> but that's kind of what a vlog is in a lot of ways. Well, at least sometimes it is. So... It's time to bitch about more stuff. First off, this camera, like I said, it's pissing me off with that, but secondly, I went to turn it back on after dicking with it for so long, and it wouldn't turn on, because for some reason this camera, the battery's just, there's like some sort of weird electrical problem where it won't detect the batteries anymore. The batteries still hold a charge, no doubt you can throw them in anything else they work, you can throw them in my Canon cameras, and they still work, and those things suck up battery, big time but they'll still work in that thing. So it's obviously this camera just has some sort of weird problem. Sometimes even just flipping the batteries will fix it. Brand new batteries, you can be five minutes into using them and boom, they don't work on this camera anymore. It's so finicky with that. It's like, man, I... I just have so many freaking problems with cameras, man. I like my power shot, though. I will say that my 710 IS, that thing works well, but the video and sound quality just aren't as good as this one. Which, this isn't good at all by today's standards, but whatever. I'm not really about that. I had somebody comment. I mean, I could probably pull the comment up. Yeah, no, that's not it. Yeah, like, I, I made the dashboard videos, and I had some people comment about, like, it being a preservationist thing. Or whatever, man, and there's all... Whatever. People comment about it being, like, a preservation thing, or, like, it feels like it's from a specific time that the dashboards were out or whatever, and it's like, yeah, my videos are kind of filmed in an old school way, and that's on purpose. It always has been. But sometimes there's some problems doing it this way, to say the least, just because the equipment's getting so old, and I'm stuck with that, so. But I'm glad that some people do appreciate that style still. I mean, I, I, it's just no nonsense to me. Like, I don't edit videos really at all. That's just me, though. I'm drinking that vitamin water, dragon fruit stuff. I did a review of this back in February of um, 2021, the year we're in now. Long time ago, feels like, man. It was almost half a year ago that I did the video. But the dragon fruit, the Invisible Man reviews dragon fruit, smart water. And I'm drinking it again. And now it actually says something different on the front here. It seems like they all say something different on the front, so I don't know if I'll ever see that again. It says, now it says... It used to be Prince slays the dragon and gets to save the princess, but it's 2021, so now it's slay the dragon fruit flavored vitamin water and get the vitamin C. Or vitamin, but yeah, it's 2021. Wow. Incredible. Um, that stuff is good though, man. I like that a lot. I said it's kind of bland. It doesn't really matter, man. It tastes good. It's better than pop. For you, anyway. So. But yeah, camera's messed up. What else is messed up, man? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is messed up. There's a lot of things that are fucking tilted, but I have tech problems. So anyway, I did the videos with that guy, the TV over there. But I had, if you noticed, in one video, in one video, I had the uh, big TV again in here. One or two vids, I had that big TV in here. And I had it in here for over a month, actually. And man, it was nice to have a bigger TV, but I don't know if I mentioned this in a video before, but that TV has some coil line, like, it's incredible how loud that damn thing is when you turn it off. It's something in the power supply, you can hear this really audible whining sound all the time when it's turned off, so I have to unplug it and discharge it every time. Every time I was done using it, I had to do that. Man, this camera's probably driving me freaking crazy, but whatever. Um, and my nose keeps running for some reason. 
but that coil wine was driving me freaking crazy because you know I'd just be it'd be late in the night and I'd be done doing something, done playing a game or watching something on it, whatever. And I was so exhausted, I don't want to get up and have to unplug the whole damn setup. Not with the way I have it arranged. And then I gotta go back around and there's all sorts of crap there. You gotta go around and discharge it. And then you're good to go. Otherwise, it will make that whining sound. By contrast, though, I have something else here that's making a whining sound. It's a power supply. The moment you unplug that thing, it just stops because it uses up all of the electricity that's in the supply still. That thing retains it. So I don't have that thing in here anymore again just because it was pissing me off so much. Also, the colors look like crap on older devices. On the Xbox One, it was excellent color. But And I actually did get it to work well at the PC, finally. Actually, when I had it with my 2010 iMac many months ago, everything looked like kind of... It looked really dark, and like a lot of just... did not look good at all, and I actually found out how to change some settings and make it look good, which was cool. It's pretty freaking trippy to use that kind of TV as a monitor, you know? But... So I did that with it, and that was pretty much the whole fucking point of the experiment. But, I kept it for way longer than I expected. Another thing that makes a whining sound, and this is bullshit, I'm just going to show these two things here. One of them, if it works out, I'm going to show it in a pickups video too. You're probably going to see all my pickups in this video, just on the floor or in the background or whatever, but I don't really care. That's the way it always has been. But, I won't really mention any specific pickups other than these two. So, picked up, also, um... Oh, I'll just get into it later. I picked up another monitor. <laughs> another monitor. Well, it was a really good deal on this thing, so I thought I'd try it out. Because there was one reason I wanted this. It has a composite port. So when that TV flakes out and finally dies, which it's getting closer and closer all the damn time, and that thing has problems too. I could plug my PS2 into this thing and have it in the correct aspect ratio with no black bars. It's just as large as you can get for a 4x3 LCD without getting into medical monitors that are just crap. But over VGA... I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but big blocks of static that move up and down the screen constantly. Now that's what I get for using it with VGA. I know, but... Uh, I never had it do that before. It's really freaking weird. Uh, you, you'll see noise in the picture, of course, but it's consistent noise. It's not like this big block traveling down your image. And that's what it was doing when I had it plugged into composite, too, and it was way worse. I'm going to try to show it on a separate vid, but it was a bit of a bitch to set it up, so I'm not going to try to do it again for this one. So, that kind of defeats the point of using it for what I was going to use it for, which sucks. But it it does make a decent computer monitor, so I'm holding on to it for now until I can recycle it or something. Or maybe I will keep it if I can figure this other thing out. Because I also got something else here. Sony. I got myself some a Sony sound system. There's a subwoofer down there and a remote. And by the way, by the freaking way, guys, I just want to point something out. I got a stupid comment. Well, the video is kind of dumb, I'll be honest with you. The video is kind of dumb. The video that I did reviewing this sound system has a couple thousand views. But I showed the remote and I said, I know what I'm talking about. Because some guy made fun of that because I actually didn't know that much about the sound system, but I said I know what I was talking about. That was only in reference to one thing here. Which is the fact that... Look at this remote, man. This is AV system remote. It's fading away. And... Shit, it's behind it. Here's the remote for the sound system. It looks almost identical. It pretty much is the same remote, just with different functions on it. And I, I said I know what I'm talking about in reference to the remote because I already had seen this remote and I said that they're the same type of remote as used on an AV system. I did know what I was talking about there, so I just thought that was kind of funny. And this sound system was in our living room for about eight years until they upgraded to a new system and I got this as a hand-me-down. You can actually see the speakers. So the video that I pulled up was uh, 
Minecraft PE Hero Brian found, or not Minecraft PE, uh, Minecraft Xbox Hero Brian found it, which is a fake video. It's just kind of dumb. It's from 2013, June of 2013, and you can see the speakers in the sound system. You can probably see them in various other videos across the years, maybe even the subwoofer on the ground. But yeah, uh, I got those, and they are really good actually, even as computer speakers. I know I like the PC subwoofers better, but this actually is quite good. I did tweak some settings on the amplifier, got the big Sony amp on it, uh, and it's nice for sound. But for what I can't figure out is that I get a lot of noise. Like, I'm not using the speakers to play anything right now, but I, I, I hear whining coming from the speakers. You'll hear that all the time. I did have a pretty cheap cable to start with, which the cable I'm using, the way I'm doing it, is I have a, uh, on the back of this amplifier, there's the old RCA jacks, and it's just red and white. Uh, and then that red and white cable goes to a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and that's plugged into the PC to get the sound. And my first cord was really cheap, and it was doing that pretty bad. Got a second cord, which is a monster cord, which really isn't that much higher quality, but it is at least a little better. Insulated, it's pretty thick cable by comparison. That seems to have alleviated it somewhat. I can still hear it, but it's not as loud. And the thing that really freaking gets me, guys, is I have this adapter that's a, um, just a cheap third-party fake China whatever adapter that's a DVI to HDMI, which is how I plug that Mac Mini into that flat screen. When it's plugged into this monitor, to use a DVI input with an HDMI PC, and the computer itself is off but the monitor's on, the speakers buzz. There's some sort of electrical interference going on. I don't know what that problem is. It's just this monitor, that computer, and these speakers. Those are the only three devices that I can make do it in that specific combination of equipment. Like, what the hell? And it's a loud, loud sound. And even once the monitor's turned off, you can hear it. It's definitely a lot quieter, but you can hear that buzzing sound. The moment the monitor's unplugged from the wall, nothing. Like, what the hell? So, I don't want to use the monitor with DVI because it makes my speakers go all crazy. I don't want to use it with VGA because big blocks of static. How do you win, man? <laughs> so, but it's a really cool monitor, so I'm going to talk about it some more in the pickups video, but or at least just show it briefly, but that freaking sucks. So I got some problems with this equipment, which is too bad, really, because I like the sound system. It's a good piece of equipment. It did not make this sound when it was plugged into the television. Um, so yeah, no idea. No freaking clue, man. I don't know if it's just my PC or what. If the PC is the source of all of the problems, or... I don't know. Another thing got fucked up. I gotta find it. Let me take a drink. But I gotta find it first. I don't know where I put it. I... This pissed me off big time. I'm really irritated today, but whatever. It's kind of like when I did the 2009 kid video, huh? Um, crap. Oh, I did actually, guys. I finally bought a replacement hard drive for the Mac Pro 17 inch after months. I have to get it. I put it up in the loft, unfortunately. I thought I had it down here. Nope, there it is. There's a bunch of other crap. Here it is, man. Freaking legend itself. The trackball mouse. I'll show you guys what this thing does. I love this mouse. This is a great mouse. Um, trackball mouse. Favorite mouse I've ever used. I've got the... I don't think I have a battery in it, though. I, I can't show it then. But now it's fucking broken. All it does is that green light right there just stays on the whole time. If I hold down this button, it'll start to flash and then go off. But if I let go, it just does it again. No way to reset these things or unpair and pair them. I tried a different receiver, a couple different receivers with it, different computers. This fucker's dead. It's like, God damn it, man. I love this mouse. And it just busted on me. Out of nowhere, man. I've had it since May of 2019. You can see it in one of my pickup vids from about that time. Now it's dead. Just out of nowhere, man. It didn't really do anything weird beforehand. 
it had worked fine up until then, and then boom, just dead. And these are not necessarily cheap for what they are, man. It sucks. And the wired version of this, you lose these two buttons. They are kind of crappy buttons, but I am so used to having these set up. What I did is I set this one up for the start menu, and this one's minimized. So I am so used to using those shortcuts, man, that to get the wired version of this, I'll lose those buttons. So, it sucks, but... I'm probably going to do that because I don't want to buy another one of these and in another two years it fucking breaks again just because some mysterious thing that I can't track down. So, yep, lost it. <laughs> lost the freaking mouse. And man, going back to, like, I got this. I have it over here for now. Amazon Basics mouse, the second one. You going back to something like that is just impossible, dude. After being on a trackball for so long, Forget about it, man. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So, that broke. <laughs> it's like, what the freaking hell, man? All In the middle of all this crap, it breaks. It's like, cool, man. Uh, just today, I had a weird fucking problem, guys. I just... I don't know when this happened. I was like, there ain't no fucking way. This is just bullshit. It's just bullshit, guys. It really is. Uh, Windows 7 computer, uh, you might... Say, so why are you still using Windows 7? It's because it's a gaming computer for older games. Windows 7 has the best compatibility, still works with Steam. But a lot of older games still work fine, Securom, all that. But I got on today. I have two accounts on this computer. I logged into the second account right away just to check some stuff that I had, some of the files that I had on that account. Everything was fine. I logged out, logged into the main account, the one with all the games on it and everything. Windows is bitching at me. I'm not activated. How the hell? I installed and activated this on like May, I think it was like May 11th of 2018. That's a long goddamn time ago. And just out of nowhere, it deactivates. Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? I was so pissed. I was so pissed. This was about two hours ago. Whew, man. I, I was just so pissed, guys. Just deactivated. And it was saying my product key isn't valid. Like, bullshit, it's an OEM product key. How is it not valid? It's out of nowhere. Well, I did install a driver. I'll mention this in the pickups video. I did install a driver, and I don't know if that somehow fucked it up, but it wasn't working. So I was, I was pissed, man. I was pissed. So I got on the phone and did their thing. And luckily, it let me reactivate it by entering all that, the numbers and stuff. First, you gotta put all the numbers into the phone, and then you gotta enter them all on the computer. And that worked first try. I was like, thank God. <laughs> Man, ah. Uh, I'm so glad it didn't turn into a whole saga. And maybe it will, honestly. I was kind of suspicious that when it worked again, it's like, there's just no way it's this simple. These things are never this simple. Just, I don't know, it was reminiscent of some crap that happened with this fucking computer, and I was pissed. No good can come out of this, but... I think I fixed it. Man, it's just crazy. That really irritated me, man, and I don't know if it's gonna do that again, or what, but... Yeah, luckily with Windows 7, though, if it were to lock me out permanently, or deactivate me permanently, it wouldn't lock me out. I can still access all my files uninterrupted, really, and get them off of here, and then I might just move to Windows 10 on an SSD, because this is a hard drive. And I made a mistake of accidentally installing the 32-bit version of this operating system, and I have 8 gigs of RAM in the computer, and I can't use it. So my RAM usage is always pretty fucking high on this thing, which it, it does take a performance hit as a result of that. I'd love to get a newer PC, man, just for games, because this thing runs a lot of stuff like shit. Huh. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm looking at a video on my computer. iMac, Mega Score, and a piece of whiskey memorabilia. I made it over two years ago. It was the video that I made show, like actually showcasing this 2010 iMac for the first time after I got it July 31st. So it's been over two years since I got this thing and was using it as my main computer which is incredible, and it still does run pretty good. 
Now that I've resolved, um, the Wi-Fi was fucked up for the whole month of July. It was really, really bad. And this computer kept kicking me off, and I wouldn't let me rejoin the Wi-Fi network after that. So I was, and that was the only device that would do it. All the Wi-Fi was fucked up on everything, but only this computer. I could not rejoin it once it kicked me off. Well, actually, it was the only one that was kicking me off in the first place. So I was thinking maybe there's a hardware problem on top of all this bullshit. Luckily, that it proved not to be. I'm nearly certain of it. Thank God, because I don't want to change this computer out just yet, but at the same time, like, man, this computer, this is actually, I've used this computer for longer than any other computer as my main computer. The latitude was, like, just up close. It was, like, 22 months. So, yeah, this computer and the latitude are, like, the top two computers I've ever owned. And this ThinkPad is probably the third. But, man... <laughs> Well, I guess, actually, that has been my main... It's been a secondary computer for almost four years, so that's pretty good on that thing, and I've had it since 2014, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I just uh, I think that's crazy. It's been over two years, and this computer has lived through a lot of hell. Yeah, it's seen a lot of stuff. I lost my hard drive over a year ago, 13 plus months ago, and I'm on my third hard drive now for this thing. And I actually might end up doing a reinstall of the OS's again, because they're starting to slow down some. I definitely notice it. I definitely notice the slowdown, especially on Sierra. Mavericks, not so much. My Mavericks is completely customized on this thing, though, so I don't want to have to redo that, really, but we'll see. I know the second hard drive, that thing slowed down like crazy. I had to go back to it a couple times this year for files or whatever. Uh, or just random shit, but that thing was slow. Horribly slow, so we'll see what happens with that. But for now, man, that really freaked me out with that Windows thing, but these are my computers for now, and I'm hoping it stays that way for a while as much as I have the desire sometimes to replace this thing just for various reasons, but... Yeah, man, legendary 2010 iMac. $50, though, man, I'll have $50 for the use that I got out of this thing. It's like, god damn, man. So, yeah, legendary. There is a lot of dust or scratches on the screen now, like, actually on the LCD, because when I opened it up, it was a fucking catastrophe. Just like a lot of other stuff, but... Whatever. Whatever it may be. I think that's just about everything, though. I don't know what else to bitch about. I, there's a lot more stuff I could bitch about, guys. I could go on a fucking rant about everything, but... Especially... Google. Well... Fuck them. Fuck them. Whatever. It doesn't matter, guys. I just want to bitch about all this stuff. But I have to keep myself kind of... in the realm of what this channel is about. Or try to. So... I will not bitch about anything else. Because it's a waste of fucking time. It's pointless. But it's, uh, it's weird, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to say about anything anymore. I'm just exhausted. For some reason, the last month has just exhausted me. Last month and a half. Um, I don't quite know what it is. It's not like anything necessarily one bad thing. It's just I'm exhausted. Just, I want a break. But I'm on a break. <laughs> it's the summer, man. It's like, what the hell? So, we'll see what the hell goes on next. But Pickups video is probably coming about 20 days from now. I am going to have a lot of stuff in this pickups video. Some of it you've seen in this video already, but whatever. <laughs> That's the way it was with like the gateway monitor back there, man. I was in many videos before I showed it in the pickups vid. Same with that uh, iPod, the, the 160 gig. That was in a, like, a year worth of videos before I finally showed it in a pickups vid. So, yeah, guys, I'm through bitching. Pickups video's coming out soon enough, and this is going to be a good freaking pickups vid. I got some mega scores, got some really cool stuff. Um, this monitor was supposed to be one of those, but it's kind of fucky, as you guys can see. But I got some pretty cool stuff, and I'm, there's probably going to be more stuff between now and that pickups video, so... Should be pretty good, man. Should be a pretty good pickups video for the summer of 2021, and it will show. So, catch you guys later.